Hey there, this is KF4A, Knowledge for All, Educational Videos and Tutorials. We are continuing with learning Autodesk Sketchbook. We are continuing with learning layers in Autodesk Sketchbook. And today we are going to learn how to create group of layers, how to add new group of layers. Uh, this is connected to the previous video which in which we have learned how to rename layers in terms of that's also a part of some kind of control of layers and uh, we can say maybe management of layers so it's not about uh, drawing on the screen sketching and uh, something creative in terms of uh, visible on the screen but it's more related to this window here again as a renaming we made changes in this window only and same as we uh, with renaming this uh, feature these gr groups of layers they uh, they are here just to make your life easier if you don't like them if you don't want them don't use them simple as that <coughs> but on the long term this will benefit your your workflow for sure why because with uh, grouping layers which we are going to do in next few moments you can have more control like in real world if you take a bunch of papers and put them in some kind of a folder in some kind of box you can then move them all at once move 10 paper from left table to right table if you move them one by one it will take you 10 times to do that but if you put them in one folder you can do it all at once it's as, it is as simple as that so uh, and you can see how our even relatively simple uh, sketch so far some sketch of some guy or on the on the uh, face sketch uh, it becomes very messy and very complex in terms of layers if you want to draw them that way and I recommend that to have more control and later to delete and change uh, it becomes like uh, 20 layers or so in a couple of minutes so uh, imagine we have a whole character like uh, not only his face but his body and then environment or him in, his, in some kind of pose action pose like fighting or running or creating something whatever it would it would be so crazy it would you would have like hundreds maybe of those layers and you wouldn't be able to find something what you want or where it where is it i want to find it but there is no way uh, so to prevent that we create groups and we rename layers we have learned renaming in previous videos so now let's check out grouping a uh, group is like i just said uh, some kind of folder like a box in which you put layers as many layers as you want uh, so for example i want to group my hairstyles uh, i need to create that box that folder somewhere here and one of the way uh, one of the ways is to create just that just by clicking on this second icon in the row of these five icons which says uh, yeah I need a tooltip add group so add group and uh, again try to select the layer which you want to put in that group and then click on this add group uh, so so far I can click on this group which is called group 1 I can also rename it I think yeah rename group by clicking on this and calling it hair styles that is all cool but uh, when I click on it to open it or close it nothing happens why because we haven't added anything yet in it so it uh, helped me because I selected this layer to create this box this folder above it but uh, selecting this layer didn't mean that this layer will automatically pushed into this group just by clicking on this folder icon here so I have to do it manually again we have learned 
before that we can reorder order layers so let's now try to push it like I uh, know I have deleted it yeah that's what I was talking about so I have to undo a couple of times so uh, I want this guy into no <laughs> this yeah yeah I think this is this is the way uh, try to move it a little bit to the left so you have both of those overlapping and then release and I think yeah now it's in it great so now my hairstyle B is in hairstyles folder I will now maybe hide this one and hide hairstyle A I want again this one into this so I will go as I have just explored and learned myself here uh, to the left a little bit until I have a blue border around my group and release it and now both of those are in my hairstyles and I can now close them to make my layer window simpler and less long and I can also hide and hide all of them again this is just one one example of how to do it in terms of um, maybe it doesn't make sense for for a couple of layers but if you had like uh, 10 different styles or maybe I don't know some some for example uh, web games or new new games which are multiplayer and so on they have lots of uh, lots of different uh, skins and uh, some kind of features like uh, on web games, different hairstyles, eyeglasses, uh, noses, uh, our dress-up game, for example, and stuff like that. So you would have tons, of, tons of those different layers. Uh, so at least for me, this makes sense, and uh, I will try now to do the same for the eyes. I will hide my group of hairstyles i will select my eyes layer and instead of clicking this add group icon i will click on layer menu and group layers i think this will actually add the selected layers to the group automatically so i don't have to drag and drop them so uh, let me think about it first i need to uh, put this layer and this layer which is white of the eye color of the eye okay select two of those to select more than one layer just use the shift on your keyboard so i can select one two three as many as i want select the first top one and then hold the shift and select the last one and all between those will be selected like from nose to base of the face or if you want to select some specific you need to call control and click on those only on those which you want to select in my case i want to select layer 2 i have to rename it to eyes uh, outline i want that one and i want this one which is uh, I rename it to eyes color okay so i want two of those i will select those two and then i will click on this layer menu um group layers i think both of those will be added to new folder yeah this so i would recommend this way select all the layers which you want to put into group and when you're satisfied with as many as you want then click on this layer menu button group layers and you will have them grouped ungroup will put them out as you can see so let's do it again select this one this one this one whatever i, I need eyes outline and eyes color menu group layers it works rename it eyes and that's it i can even as you can see move whole group now as i was talking a few moments ago i don't need that maybe in future i will need that uh, so far so good and also 
I can open it and add new layers. So for example, I need to add new styles for my eyes. Just open it, create new layer here, here plus and so on. Uh, and you see how fast this becomes uh, very, very easy to uh, manage. And uh, you can put as much as I know, uh, folders in folders, groups in groups. So I can have one group for a complete face. For example, I can call it later um, face, ca character face or whatever, and put all of these group uh, groups for hairs, uh, eyes, facial features like nose and so on, all in one big folder. Uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye for now.